Gary. Gary, thank you so much. Welcome to Climber School of Real Estate. Thank you, bud. We're glad to have you here today. And uh, tell us, you're with Caldwell Banker, and tell us what's your position there, etc. Sure, I'm Gary Williams. I'm the managing broker for Caldwell Banker here in Orlando. I do manage the Orlando office. Uh, we're at 211 East Colonial, downtown Orlando, and we work in five counties here in Central Florida. Wow. And y'all are the oldest company in existence. But at, as a large company, Coldwell Banker is large, well over 100 years old. You don't find a lot of those things happening in today's marketplace. Now, let me ask you this. Is today a good time to start a career in real estate? Ron, thanks for asking me that question. I love that question because the answer is yes. The answer is there's a lot of people buying and selling real estate. It's just a different market than we've had in years gone by. And when you ask about people getting into real estate now, I say that that's really great because I love working with new agents because they don't have a preconceived idea of how they're supposed to do it. They'll listen to you. They'll do what you say. And in today's market, they can be very, very successful. People are buying. People are selling. And are y'all aggressively looking for new agents? I'm looking for new agents every day. As I said, I love working with new agents for one reason. They listen to me. They don't bring baggage with them. You know, they come, they come ready to work. Well, now, let me ask you this. Has the internet changed real estate? Absolutely. Uh, it used to be real estate is still basically local in nature, but you have a much broader reach using the, inter the internet. And Cole Banker picked up on that, and we advertise on 350 active websites every day. And that's soon to be expanding to 600 websites every day. So we have a broad exposure of every property and every agent with Cole Banker. Wow, and y'all have training to teach a new guy how to take advantage of that? We do, and we have IT people behind the scenes that do the majority of the work for the agent. So the basic template that they work with, pretty simple. Yes, myself and my assistant manager in the office, we take care of the initial training for that. And uh, there's a world out there that you and I had never saw before. Well, now, let me ask you this. Uh, what are the common denominators of a successful new agent? Uh, I think the common denominators are, are pretty standard and they have been standard for the last 30 years that I know of, is if they are a self-starter, if they're motivated, if they understand that they're really in a service business. And when you actually ask the question of a potential buyer or seller, how can I help you? And you take that to heart, you're going to be successful. The other successful trait is they're very good listeners. Everybody thinks good salespeople are good talkers. Now, you and I, we're pretty good talkers, <laughs> but really, really good salespeople, they're really good listeners, and they find out what the customers and clients are looking for, provide that, and earn a handsome income. Now, uh, does your, your company has a basic training for people as well as advanced? Or? Absolutely. Uh, first of all, you can never learn too much, so even I'm still learning every day, and that's after more than 30 years of doing this, but we have a very basic training program that because your school, you're going to teach them how to pass the state exam, and I tell all of them that they need to come and see you because you can help them pass the state exam. But after that, there are some things that sellers and buyers are going to ask them, like, what do you do different? What does your company do different? How can you help me get my home sold in a timely fashion? Those are the things that we help them learn through our basic training. Well, now, speaking of basic training, do you all have any kind of program where you'll reimburse their tuition that they pay to get their license? As a matter of fact, in my office, we do that. We will reimburse, and especially if they, if they attend a school that we subscribe to, like Climber School of Real Estate. Just thought I'd put that in for Appreciate us. Appreciate that. Let me ask you this. Have you got maybe a story about a, one of your rookie agents uh, that did well and maybe a, a, an I, extraordinary rookie, I guess? I love that story, that question, Ron, because I had in 2010 the Rookie of the Year for Colwell Banker nationwide. Vanessa Cortez. Now you got to imagine, we got thousands and thousands of agents and thousands and thousands of new agents every year. But she turned out to be the number one agent in the company as a new associate. And she did it in our office by working her plan. And her plan was to get as much business as she could from all the top producers who got more business than they could say grace over. And they referred business to her and she's a go-getter. And she closed on all of that business. So as the rookie of the year for the company, 
that's something I get to tout, but I have to tell you, she did a stellar job herself. She has those things. She listened well, she was motivated, and she understood about servicing customers and clients. And her customer and client in some of this were, were senior agents who had been doing a lot of business already. So I think that's a, a smart agent. All right. Well, I'm impressed with that. Well, listen, I want to thank you for coming in. I want to remind people your phone number is 407-841-6060. Gary Williams. Been the same phone number for 30 years. And I have a gift for you. Actually, I've got two gifts for you. I have, number one, a Climber School of Real Estate refrigerator magnet. I want you to put that on your filing cabinet. Absolutely. And I also have a Climber School of Real Estate t-shirt for you. Now, these are new, Gary. I've only been using these a while, and this is not important to you. But since I've been passing those out in class. I haven't had a single student wear one of those to the exam and fail that I know of. Now I love that. And that's probably a pretty good marketing idea if you're thinking about getting into real estate. What would make you different than everybody else? I think this is a good idea. Thank you. Come over here. I have something else to show you. <laughs>